Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Manual caching. What is it? How to use it? But more importantly, what to do if your manual caching is grayed out? Coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. So what is manual caching? It'll allow us to pre-download a specific area or region anywhere around the globe and save it into a cache file. So if you're someone like me that has very slow internet speed, it will still allow us to see at high fidelity all the ground textures and ground objects that are in the area that you're flying. So now that you understand what manual caching is used for, before we jump into how to use the manual caching feature, we're gonna first talk about what to do if your manual caching is grayed out. And then we'll move into how to use the manual caching feature in Microsoft Flight Sim. If you have any questions along the way, please leave them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. To get to the manual caching option, you first need to go up to the Options tab, General Options, and then we're going to head down to the Data tab on the left. Then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the Data tab, and here is where we're able to use the manual caching feature. If you hit the View button, this will put you on the manual caching map, and here is where you'll be able to select an area or region to manual cache. But as you see over here on the right hand side, I have no option to be able to cache a new region or create a new cache file. So I want to show you how we are going to do a little workaround to this. Now this is not by any means going to fix the actual problem with Microsoft Flight Simulator, but this will work around the issue of you not being able to create a new cache region. It's very important that you follow these steps in order because I went through some trial and error here with a lot of crashes to desktop and I found the way that worked for me. So hopefully this will work for everyone else. The first thing that we need to do is to get back to the rolling cache section. So we're going to hit back, go to data, and then scroll all the way down to our rolling cache settings. Now the most important thing here is to take note of where your rolling cache path is located. If you're using the default location, then most likely you have a huge string here and you're not able to see the entire path name. But it's very simple, if you just left click anywhere here, it will open up the path in File Explorer and then you can take this and set this off to the side. So now that you know where the path is located, we need to exit the simulator so that we can delete that file in the rolling cache section. It's very important that we do this step. So we're gonna hit go back and quit to desktop. Once the sim is closed, we can now open the folder that contains the rolling cache file. We're going to go ahead and delete that rolling cache file. Now that that is complete, we're going to restart the sim and I'll bring everybody back to show you what the next steps are. Now that we have the sim loaded, we need to get back to the rolling cache options. So we head up to the options, general options, data, scroll all the way down. So before we go any further, I just want to explain what we're going to be doing for this workaround. Because your manual cache is grayed out, that means there is no file associated for your manual cache. So what we're going to be doing is using our rolling cache file and then renaming it to use as our manual cache file. And then creating another rolling cache file for the rolling cache. Doing the workaround in this particular way has a couple caveats to that. In the manual caching section, you are normally able to create the manual cache file size right here. For the workaround, because we're going to be using the rolling cache, we're going to need to set the manual cache size right here in our rolling cache section. So the first thing we need to do is to set your file size that you want to use for your manual cache. Hit enter, and then you're going to go down and hit apply and save. Now, it's very important that you don't spawn into the sim at any point right now. We just need to create the new file and then we are going to exit the sim. So this might take a couple minutes, so allow this to finish. Once it does, I'll bring everybody back. All right, it has just finished creating that file for us. What we need to do now is exit the sim. Once the sim is closed, we need to reopen the location of our rolling cache file. 
Here you can see the 50 gigabyte rolling cache file that I created. We now need to rename this to our manual cache file. We're going to left click and then left click one more time and it should highlight the name so that we can enter the new name. Now, as you'll notice here, rolling cache is in all caps, so I suggest typing manual cache in all caps. Once that's done, just click off of it, and it has now created the manual cache file for us. One thing to note here, for manual caching, you cannot leave this file anywhere. We have to place this back in the default location where the manual cache file is supposed to be. Down below in the description, I'll have a copy and paste section where you can copy this address and paste right in your address bar. You just need to change out my PC name for your PC name. I also want to note that I am using the store-bought version of the SIM, and if you're using Steam, it's going to be in a different location. But what we need to do is to get to the local cache folder of the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Once you're here, this is where the new manual cache file is going to get placed. I have already created a file and I put on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag this one and place it inside of the local cache folder. And now you can see the new manual cache file has been placed in our local cache folder. So now we're done with the local cache folder, we can just exit out of this. Now, if for some reason you still have the manual cache file in your rolling cache folder, we just need to delete this so that we can create a new rolling cache file. So we're just going to highlight, delete, hit yes. All right, so now we're just going to fire the sim back up and I'll bring everybody back so that we can go over how to use the manual caching feature. All right, back in the sim. Now let's get into how to use manual caching. So we're going to head back up to options, general options, and go over to data, scroll all the way down to rolling cache. If you're someone that is using rolling cache, now's a good time to go in and set your new rolling cache limit, and then go down and hit apply and save. Once you're done with that, we can roll into the manual cache, go down and hit view. At this point, you should now see all of the manual caching options lit up that we can now create new regions. But remember I told you earlier that we're not able to modify this folder. So if you go up here and click modify, you cannot change the file size of this folder. To use the manual caching, what we need to do is to go down and hit cache new region. At this point, it's going to give us some cache quality levels over here on the right hand side. We can also rename this region as well. We're just going to call this test. Now, if you use your mouse scroll wheel to start zooming in on the map, over on the right hand side, you'll see the cache quality start increasing. Now, there is one downside to caching something in the highest quality possible, and that is it creates a big strain on your GPU. So, what I like to do is just zoom out till I'm in the medium, and just until it goes into low quality, then I'll zoom back in again. To highlight a region that we want to cache, we're going to right click over the region, drag it, and let go. Now you'll see here that we have two separate regions. One is the medium and one is our low. The only way we're going to get high resolution is if we zoom way in until this says high and then if we highlight again, now you can see this is a high level of resolution, medium and low. So once you have the region selected, go down, hit finish and download. Again, I'm on a very slow internet so it's going to take forever, so I'm just going to abort this process. But that is how you create a new region. If you want to see where your regions are, or maybe you forgot to name one, you can just hit on this little eye over here, and it'll take you to that region that you had cached previously. If you want to delete a region, all we need to do is to check, delete, and we are all set to go. So I hope the video helped you out today. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section, and I'll get right back to you. Make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.